Right. Um, a lot of you have been asking me for a follow-up video on the do-it-yourself uh, skateboard uh, with the self-built truck and the Matex 70mm hub motors. So this is that video. It has been raining for the past few days, uh, so I realized um, I better get this uh, out before it starts snowing. Uh, I was uh, trying to figure out which, um, like, what is this board? It should be like the cheap one and the, the slow one, or just your first board that you can build yourself and to get to uh, understand what you want from a board. So I decided to go on the cheap side and used all the cheapest components that I have from home. Um, so this is a, um, a Hobby King 6S, uh, 6 series battery pack. Um, uh, it's around 25 volts fully charged. Uh, this one is a speed controller. This is a car speed control that has a reverse and brake. Although the brake's not very powerful, but still, um, kind of gets the, um, works well, I guess. This one was around uh, 40, 40 US dollars from um, from Maytech as well. So it's up to 6S. You can put 7S or 10S battery packs on it. This is actually censored. It's running censored. So because um, the the Maytech the 70 millimeter motor had sensor output as well so why not use that for a better torque this is a Maytek transmitter uh, with this remote this this is uh, not the latest one that they have they have uh, a new one with additional buttons there but this is uh, like the right after the fat one that they sold uh, just be careful that this toggle here it basically toggles between the the high speed and the low speed mode so be sure it's um, flickering fast let me turn it on there you go there's the beep and um, yeah, so uh, let's give it a run. So the speed, yeah, the speed's terrible. Um, it's mostly related to that, the fact that the batteries are uh, uh, 6S only. So it's uh, 25 volts um, using like a 10S battery pack. It would give us uh, a, um, pretty much like a uh, double max speed. That would be around uh, 25 or 30 kilom 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 kilometers an hour. I used uh, Waze uh, to test this max speed and like a GPS on the phone. So it's never, never not very precise. It showed me like 16 kilometers an hour. Then it showed 17. Then it showed 12. So it's somewhere in the min, in the middle there. Yeah. No, another interesting fact is that with this um, car ESC, you get almost no brakes. So you kind of get have to get used to that. The total build cost, uh, I'm going to do an overlay here because I don't remember, but I'm really trying to go for the low, the low cost first build using the, the cheapest tools, the RC components as much as possible. Uh, it's a much easier build compared to a belt drive. I can't really comment on the durability because I've ridden this around. I'm pretty much used it only for tests, so uh, take that into account. I'd say it's a lot of fun. So um, yeah, go ahead and uh, check out the blog post that I've linked um, down below. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Just look at the weather we have here. Uh, this is all soaking wet. Clean water. Still works. It's nice. There's nothing can blow up here, right? I hope so. I don't know.